now let us discuss about decidability and undecidability in theory of computation or this can also be called as decidable languages and undecidable languages this topic is completely theory topic i will give some important points regarding decidable problem decidability as well as undecidability first let us see about what is decidability and then we will discuss about undecidability first let's see what is decidability a problem is said to be decidable if we can always construct an algorithm to solve the problem or in place of algorithm we can write turing machine to solve the problem so decidable problem means we can solve that problem we can write an algorithm to solve that problem or we can write a turing machine in order to solve that problem that is called as decidable problem next point a language is decidable if there is a turing machine that accept the language so we can say that a language is decidable if there is a turing machine to accept that language so the corresponding turing machine will accept that language and halts on every input string with a solution either yes or no suppose if the string is accepted then it will produce as output as yes suppose if the string is rejected then it will it will produce as output as no next point decidable problems are also known as turing decidable problems so both are same only decidable and turing decidable problems both are same only because a turing machine always halts on every input by accepting or rejecting so if we supply an input to, an input to the turing machine then the turing machine may produces either yes or no the turing machine may produces the output as either yes or no yes means turing machine can accept that string whereas no means turing machine is rejecting that string so this is called as decidability so decidability means we can have an algorithm we can have a turing machine in order to solve that problem decidable problem means that problem is always solvable now let us see about undecidability now let us discuss about undecidability the name itself specifies the meaning here the problem is undecidable the language is undecidable there is no algorithm or no turing machine to solve that problem here it may produces some outputs but for all the inputs it won't produces the correct output let's see that point here the language is not decidable so undecidable means the language is not decidable the corresponding problem is unsolvable so it is not possible to solve that problem for some inputs it may produce as the correct output but for all the inputs it won't produce as the correct output there is no algorithm or turing machine that gives an answer for all the input instances of the problem so for all the inputs it won't produce as the correct output only for some inputs only it will produces the correct output in undecidability problem there will always be a chance that will lead the turing machine into an infinite loop without providing the answer so undecidable means there is a chance that the turing machine will goes into the infinite loop without producing all the possible outputs it produces only few outputs and after that it will the turing machine will goes into the infinite loop let's see an example example find suitable integers which satisfies the equation a power n plus b power n equal to c power n for all n greater than or equal to 2 so here n value must be greater than or equal to 2 greater than 2 it may be any number suppose let us assume that this a value is 1 lakh 
so b value is 2 lakh then c value may be 3 lakh so this condition is true so likewise it will produce so many outputs we have crores of integers so what will happen so it won't produce all the outputs why because here what is the last number it is infinite we don't know what is the last number so what will happen the turing machine will goes into the infinite loop why because it won't produce all the possible outputs here we have infinite numbers so after producing some numbers as output the turing machine will goes into the infinite loop that is the point here if we give this problem to the turing machine then the turing machine might goes into the infinite loop so this is about what is desirability and undesirability or desirable language and undesirable language please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching